CNC plasma cutting works like a dream, until something goes wrong. I'm going to show you how to salvage your expensive plate if it does. Your breaker might trip, your consumables could wear out, accidental button press, ground clamp slips off. Whatever happens, the following steps will help you recover the part. Alright, so we're here, we have our failed cut. It tripped an arc brake alarm. Now we're going to clear this, we're going to press enter to clear it. We're going to press F1 to go back. This is going to reverse us down the cut path. I'm going to stop right about where it failed. Now we could start from here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can do a lead in to get the smoothest restart possible. So I'm going to move off the cut path and down a little bit. Now we're going to press start to restart it, but we're going to use this option G, cutting return. Now this will start the cut from where we are, return it, and then continue the cut. All right, so we showed you what happens when you notice the incomplete cut before the program stops. But what if the program finishes and then you notice the incomplete cut? We're going to show you how to fix that. So if you look at the cut, we notice that on the two sides towards the end, the arc didn't actually penetrate, even though it did get to the end of the cut. So we're here at the cut completion screen. Now it's asking us if we want to return to the start. Now we do want to return to the start but we don't want to touch anything here. We just want to leave it zeroed. It's at the start of the cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift M and switch to demo mode. I'm going to run the torch down so I can see what it's doing. And we can run through this, start, and we'll get right up to the point where the cut failed. So right there, that's about where the cut stopped. We're going to do the same thing as we did before make a little lead in with our cutting return. So we're in demo mode. I'm going to switch back to plasma mode. There we can see we're in plasma mode. And I'm going to do the cutting return. And it's that easy. You just saved your cut without wasting material. Earlier, I glossed over what happens if you move off the cutting path and then try to start cutting again. But let's take a closer look at that. I said to use cutting return, which starts the cut where the torch is and returns it to the last point the torch was on the cut path and then continues the cut from there. Return only will simply take the torch to the last point on the cut path without starting cutting. Coordinate offset will restart and continue from the current point, which could be useful if your plate shifted and you really need to save a part. If you need to make setting changes during a cut, cut speed can be changed on the fly by pressing the F plus and F minus buttons to change it up or down. You can also stop the cut and type in the exact speed you want, then restart it. To alter settings in the F4 menu, you will have to exit the cut entirely. The best way to do that is stop the cut, press F3, go back, confirm. It will return to zero and exit the cut. Now you can change what needs to be changed and to restart the cut, make sure the torch is zeroed or it doesn't get moved off the zero point. Switch to demo mode and let it run through up to the stop point, then change over to plasma mode and finish the cut. 